Hi, I just wanted to do a little video. I'm up here in St. Louis, Missouri at Hanley, North Hanley and Jane Street. And as you can see, there's a colony of cats. As so often in this city and many other cities, these poor cats are in the worst neighborhoods, you know? And it looks like this was once their house, you know? And as you can see, I mean, it's, it's abandoned. There's nobody living there. Unless it's, you know, the cast of Barbarian. You know, that woman downstairs in the tunnels. Trying to look for a baby to feed milk. If you don't, or if you didn't see that movie Barbarian, you have no idea. You're like, what is she on about? But if you did, you'd probably laugh. But while that's funny, there's nothing funny about this. Um, these poor babies. So if anybody sees this that lives in St. Louis, um, I'm not very good at doing TNR, trap and release. Um, where you trap them and um, bring them into a vet and make sure that they have all their um, make sure they're healthy first of all make sure they're not pregnant and if they are give them the, the proper nutrition and uh, you know just the proper care and uh, then you spay or neuter them and then you you know, bring them back and, you know, because most of these are feral. But the sadder thing is, is a lot of them are not feral. They're abandoned, you know. And so you have a cat that's used to living in a house with warmth, being fed every day, to then having no choice but to be feral because it's been abandoned. It makes me sad, you know. I don't think any animals should have to live like this. Of course, there's a lot of people that have to live like this too. And uh, it's sad. So I try to help. But if anybody um, is familiar with this area and knows anything about these cats, and there's more, by the way. These are just the three that I saw today. Um, And I brought, <clears throat> I also brought some tuna, but I was stupid enough to forget the can opener, so I don't know how to open it without a can opener, I can't, which is sad, because, you know, it would give them a whole nother meal, because they're fighting over it, you know, they're so hungry, and, uh, but I, I'd love to give them, and, you know, I saw a couple down there earlier. I left some food down there at the end of the street. And as you can see, I mean, there are people living on the street. There's people living there. You know, those two white houses. And then there's like this really random, I mean, I, I, I would never make fun of somebody's house. You know, never, you know? I mean, they're struggling just to have a roof over their head. But this house is, I'm gonna walk back there a little bit. Cause I wanna see if the other cats have, yep, there's, I can see a cat down there eating the food. You can't see it from here, but. So it's way at the end of the street. See the white, that's a cat. He's eating the food that I dumped down there. But this, um, this house right here, like I said, I would never make fun of anybody's house, but I just think it's, I've never seen a house like this. It, it is kind of scary, you know? Ooh, and of course a light goes on. But yeah, it's just like a below ground like, has anyone ever seen that movie, um, Room, 
where the girl Brie Larson gets kidnapped with her son or she gets kidnapped when she's a teenager and kidnapper you know R words her and they have a son together and they have to hide out anyway um her the, you know the guy that kidnaps the um the R word is I, I, it's so stupid that I can't even talk anymore and say n words you know I have to code everything because of the censorship on YouTube is just dumb anyway but yeah they're stuck in like this back like shed and um you know they scream and scream and scream for help um but it's like underground so nobody can hear them but yeah I mean it's like this is kind of I mean there's a mailbox there I don't know if somebody's living there maybe not but yeah I mean that if you were a serial killer this is the kind of place you would you know I don't know it just creeps me out but it, it is what it is maybe it's really nice inside I don't know like I said, you know, people are just lucky these days to have a roof over their head. And we all have to, you know, be happy with what we have and, ble uh, you know, count our blessings. But I have a special spot in my heart for animals. And, uh, it really breaks my heart to see them living like this. It's really cold out right now. And it's just gonna get colder through the night. <sighs> I'm sorry guys, that's all I got for you. Just... I'm a dummy and I forgot the air can opener, so I can't even give you the tuna. Like, I thought about, like, knocking on somebody's door and asking for a can opener, but please, nobody wants me doing that. So anyway, at least they got a little bit of food in their tummies. I plan to come back here with somebody, um, maybe from Carol House, um, which is a local, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily, like, a cat shelter but I know that they do TNR so um, hopefully these cats will have a happy ending and uh, that's it Jane and North Hanley North Hanley's up there and this street is Jane and it's about the one two three four five six seven house on the right but these cats are all over the street. I mean, they're hiding right now. You know. But they're, especially at the very end there, there's a whole colony. And they come out, you know, when they're hungry. When somebody leaves food for them. And I don't think that's very often, you know. So, I wish them well. Everybody have a good Sunday.